Hello everyone, my name is Teacher Lena and welcome to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk to you about the differences between OBS and Minicam. <laughs> well, like I said, I am um, an ESL online teacher Maybe I didn't say that, but I'm saying it now. I'm an ESL online teacher and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, I would love it if you'd subscribe because I put out videos each week and I talk about my experiences as an ESL online teacher. I give tips and talk about companies and all that stuff. So if you want to hear more videos like this, please go ahead and subscribe. But in this video, I wanted to talk about why and how Manicam and OBS are different because you know many people use them and they're great but why would I choose one over the other well one OBS is free it's operating broadcast system it's free <laughs> free is always good but when you have things that are free you don't have as many options either but with OBS I use it for green screen I use it for you know other things too when, with filming, but for an ESL online teacher, you'd want to be able to use it with green screen for free, and it's great, but there are some things that you have to be aware of. Now after this, after this talk, after I tell you some of the similarities and differences, I'm going to show you how you can use both of them for green screen. So if you stay to the end of this video, you will get instructions on how to use both of them, okay? So like I said, OBS is free. You can use Manicam, but you'll see that you're kind of limited in the space that is allowed in their screen. So there's a little bit of a cutoff there, but you can work around that too. Um, but with Manicam, if you want to use green screen, there is a fee you do have to pay for it and but their their pay their the fee is not that much like i get the the standard which is fifty dollars a year not bad they also have you know one that's less than that is i think it's about twenty four dollars and that the only difference is you can only use it for one computer and instead of two i wanted to be able to use it for more than one computer so i got the upgrade so um but for for both packages you get to use the chroma key, you get to, you know, you have full access to all of their um, objects and adding more objects. And you can even do that, excuse me, you can even do that without having, um, at, without paying. So you don't necessarily have to pay for it if you want to use it for props and rewards, which is a wonderful thing to use Manicam for when you're a teacher online. Um, so. I use it for awards, but I also use it for Google Slides. Google Slides is a wonderful prop to use in your classroom for rewards. If you have to have a secondary reward, Google Slides is very helpful to use with um, VIP Kid or GoGo Kid. And I've even heard people use it for iTutor Group too. So you can use it for whatever class you want to use it for. Um, but there, the ease of use is easier if you actually pay for the upgrade because when you use with Manicam, you can actually display part of your screen and that allows you to cut out any extra stuff on your screen that you don't want people to see but if you don't get the paid version then when you want to display you know your Google Slides you have to display your window so the difference between displaying a window and displaying a custom area is the window. You see all the tabs or all the the um, the the ruler or you know anything that's up above. You can see all that stuff if you display a window. But if you display a custom area, you can you are given a box and you can expand that box or make it smaller and just show whatever little spots that you want to show. So that's kind of nicer. I did like that too. And then there's the watermark. You don't have that uh, Manicam watermark if you pay for the upgrade. So that's the difference between paying and not paying for Manicam. 
Um, but you have all the space that you need with Manicam. You know, you're not limited and it is a very good uh, deal if you want to buy Manicam. Uh, and it's great for recording, but you can also record with OBS too. So that's all the differences when you're teaching as an ESL online teacher. I mean, there's other things you can do with these, with both of these features, but you know, I could go on and on, but those are, that's how I use it. And that's mostly how I use it. Now, if you have some other ways that you use these, um, these programs and you'd like to share, I'd love to hear how you share them and please go ahead and comment. You know, down below and, and share with other teachers so we can all learn from that. Um, but if you are interested in getting the Manicam and looking into it, um, please go ahead and use the, the link that I have down below. Um, I have an affiliate link. So if you use my link, I do get a percentage of it and I'd love for you to support me in that way. So that's down below in the description box as well as any other uh, things, any t companies that I work for or uh, teach with and other things I use in my classroom. So if you check that description box down below, I'd love it and I'd love it if you support me too. But so. don't go anywhere because I'm going to show you how to use both of them. Stay tuned. So with Manicam, you want to start with this preset one here. We're going to create our preset one. You can create many presets. That just means you're going to have things ready for just moving into if you you want to change your background without having to select and everything you can have that already set up for you so we're starting in preset one you want to press that plus button add your camera and hopefully you'll see me there I am and then I want to go here over to the side I'm, these are your different things you can select I have you know this is the presets audio down here is chroma key so that's where I'm that's where I am right now I'm in the chroma key I want to turn it on. Uh-oh, I already have a background in there. So I want to reset it because I don't want that background. So what I'm going to do is get a custom background. I'm going to go down here and get my same background as before, but now I've got to fill this in. So I'm just kind of going around and pressing. Careful, don't press yourself because if you click on yourself, then you are going to turn into whatever your background is. So you have to go around and move around and see if you've gotten all of the spots. I think it's, it's almost, almost good. So yeah, there's a little bit more over here and it could be that I need to add a little bit more lighting, but this is, that's how you do the chroma key for Manicam. And you can change different backgrounds and do different things, but the wonderful thing about Manicam is they have all of these objects to the side here and you know you have animals that you can add to your class you know all these already added props and you can add even more so here under objects if I go down keep going down 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 there's so many objects that they actually give you and I've actually added more by this feature that I'm going to show you here it says get more so you press on it and then that'll bring you to the website and the website is going to show you more things that you can get and add if they don't have it already you can add even more pictures of things um, I've seen a lot of these already but there's many 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 things that you can add to your classroom they have a cute, well not really a cute, but they have this funny spider that I thought I'd show you. It's very live-like. <clears throat> oh, here it is. It's animated spider. <laughs> I love using this in class because they get a kick out of it. Oh, where'd it go? I don't know where it went. Hmm. Well, I already have it here. This is my 3D spider. <laughs> you know, so they even have... 3D and animated um, objects that you can have with Manicam and they have GIFs or GIFs that I haven't added but they have a section for them so you can add some more. So that is Manicam. All right, so in OBS, you wanna create a scene 
and I already have some scenes, but let's just add another one. So I'm going to press the plus sign and I'm going to name it OBS. Then now I have nothing in sources. So in sources, this is where you have, want to add your camera, your background, and anything you want to be shown to the student. So you press the plus sign. I'm going to add my video capture device first. So let's add, it already gives you a name for it, so let's go ahead and use that. And I'm going, it, it automatically put me on Manicam, but I'm going to go to the drop down screen and pick my Logitech camera. And let's see, eh, it doesn't want to work. And there I am. So now I want to add my picture, whatever I want to be in my, my background. So I, I go to image and I can use, they already named it for me, and let's do image three. So now I'm going to search for it using browse. And I have some pictures already set up well, that I use in this file here. So I can go to the picture I want to use. This is the one, but where's, where's my picture? So now I have to go back to sources and move my camera up to the first position so you can see me in front of the image. And that's the order. Whatever's on top, you're gonna see in front. So now I want to get rid of the green screen. Let's see, if my lighting is okay, I could do this pretty well. So I'm going to right click onto my image. I'm going to do filters. So the filter screen is really big. I want to minimize it so that I can see this plus sign here. I need to press on that and then select chroma key. Press chroma key, press okay. And now this is where I adjust. I want it to kind of look like this, where it's all grayed. If I mess with some of these, these sliders, you can see what happens here. You want to try to get it as great as possible. It's easier when you don't have flyaway hair. <laughs> so, um, and then, you know, here's smoothness, adjust those things, but I, it was looking pretty smooth before. I think I was looking a little green. Let's see. I think that looks better. So now, this is where I'm going to go with, and there I am. So I just kind of readjust my size so I look more like I'm, you know, the size of a teacher. And there I am. But then remember, there's that problem. <laughs> you have to keep yourself there. Now you can stretch it out and make, well, actually, can you stretch it out anymore? Yeah, I could stretch it out more so that my hand, I don't have that problem, I guess. I could do that. You could do that too but it just depends on how big you want to be in your screen. But I do notice that this picture, this image has to be pulled out more. You want to fit that so that it is completely uh, covering the back of it. So the back of the, the picture. So there it is, the OBS green screen. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about this, go ahead and leave them in the comments. I, I do try to get back to people fairly quickly. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.